everybody. I'm going to attempt to do some commentary or comments or voice tutorials. If my mic is low, I apologize. I've been trying to figure it out. Hopefully it's not too low. I've got it like less than an inch away from my mouth. So if you hear me breathing louder than talking, I apologize. Just want to make sure you can hear me and I'm not talking quiet like I was in my last commentary video. Okay, so I looked up on Google uh, some how-tos, just seeing what people search for the most, because um, I know just about everything on my list here that I got. Uh, I've been playing The Sims 3 since it came out, and previous to that I played The Sims 2, and then I want to say I played The Sims 1 for a little bit, but I was still a, kind of a young kid at that time. I was outside. I wasn't inside. Um, so, I'm going to go over about 33 how-tos. I think there's 33. Some of them are like really long. Some of them are short. So, I don't know how long this is going to last. Okay. But, the first one is how to install mods. I always go to a certain web page. You can type it up on Google here. I have it probably saved in the URL. Uh, but it is the Sims resource. It's where I've always gone to get my mods. I don't have an account with them because I don't find it necessary myself. Some others may think differently. I mean I try not to install too too many mods because with a custom map and with how I'm trying to play the game I'm really trying not to crash the game. But I'm going to go ahead and go here. And you know it popped up saying it can link my account, but I don't want to link it my account. Sorry for anyone who saw that. Uh, you have over here the three little lines and it says all of the sims. Or you can search artists as well. Uh, we're on sims 3. So for an example, like here, this is where I got my pool table from. I just search pool table, hit enter or the search bar, doesn't matter. Here are top categories. Um, they really help you narrow down your mod that you're looking for. Because see, there's almost 20,000 pool tables, quote unquote. Um, so you can do sets. Sets are more than one object. See, that will probably be like the umbrella, the table, the basket, the chairs, just everything in the picture. Same for that one. This one is the one that I have right here. And it has the light, the the board, and then the two pole holders, and also the pole table itself. That's considered a set because there's more than one. Um, I'm going to unclick this set up here and see dining tables. You might not get like the pool table you're looking for, but you know it will show you pretty cool tables uh, related to a pool table. So there's all kinds of stuff in here. Some of them work, some of them don't work. You know, I applaud anyone who can make just about anything. Cause I can't make any of these. I haven't looked into it. I've just always used this page. And if you sign up for their membership, you get no ads, no editing. I'm not really on here much. Um, down here you have keywords like modern pool table. I think there's a glass one. Yeah, see a glass pool table? Stuff like that. Um, and then anything kind of related to what you're looking for. See that one was a, a table for the pool. Uh, I'm gonna click sets again so that I can... Where did it go? Right there. Okay, so here's mine. 
I'm going to go ahead and click on it. This is the artist, how many have downloaded it, and how many objects she has created. Um, I have no affiliation to this page. I'm just, you know, how-to videos, what I do. Um, this pull table I've used for a long time. I'll lose, like, my game, and then I'll, this is one of the first ones that I install, because I just enjoy having a pull table for my Sims. Uh, it shows, like, pictures of what it comes with, shows I'm using it comes with that. I gotta find that. Um, comments. And then you have your description here. See it says this set is with six creations. So you can click here and it will show you every creation that comes with it. Um, if you click on just one of them and the same for if you click on just one object that you're looking for but it has a picture of multiple objects uh, if it just brings down the one, you can go, you know, comments. You can go to the description. This creation belongs to a set. So it will let you know if they're, like the objects pictured are downloadable. Or probably even if they're not pictured. I've had it look that way as well. Just like the previous one. And it brings you to the set. I don't know what to search for. Um, we'll do some Bob's Burgers. See if there's any. Oh, Sims 3, please. If you don't click it there, you have it right here. Hmm. Why is there always SpongeBob? Okay, there's nothing of that sort. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to do loft. And I'm going to do build mode. So I'm looking for like some building lofts. I think I have that one. Or I used to. I think I still do. Okay, that looks nice. So you got your windows. I'm going to see if it belongs. It does belong to a set. Do I have this? I think I have this one. I, I gotta find a different one. So I don't want to install it twice. Okay. Farmers, maybe? Farmer, maybe? Scary. We'll do farm. We will do residential. See what pops up. I don't want a lot. I think that's why it's being brought up on the residential. Let's see. Got objects. Okay, no objects, not objects, no. Okay. Country, truck, country. Hmm. Alright, you know what? I got an idea. Pictures and TVs one of the best mods in my opinion. Right there. There we go. I know I don't have this one. That's pretty
pretty. Okay. So it does not belong to a sit. So what we'll do is we will go down here, press download, and right here you have to wait 15 seconds if you do not have the membership. Download now. Right. Hit downloaded. So we're going to go to electronic, we're going to go to documents here. Electronic Arts, Sims 3, Downloads, because we just downloaded it, and here's all of your downloads. You can shift uh, control A, and you accept all of your downloads, but I have quite a few, didn't know I had this many. But I have quite a few, and I'm not going to re-download all of those because it's just going to say, hey, it's already downloaded, and it's just going to be a waste of loading time. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Internet, and I'm going to where's it at? Downloads. I just kept overlooking it. Goodness. You want to find your downloads. And we want to press open file. Mine's right here. So I went over it again. Downloads. Open file. Show on folder. There we go. Goodness. And once you click on open file, um, it's going to start downloading onto the Sims. It says success. This package is already installed and this package is already installed because I clicked on it like three times. But it does say success, so it was downloaded. Okay. Now for a little bit of a harder one, I'm going to go find a set. I'll close that up. Probably gonna yep, probably gonna zoom right over it again. That's fine. Hmm, I wonder if there's a set of TVs. Probably should have done a TV and then a set of pictures, but oh well. Here we go. That's what I like to see. A big ass TV. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, 
there we go. That's, yep, that's what I want. Hopefully it can move. That you can put it on like the coffee table or something. And it's not just like stuck onto that one. If it is, I guess it wouldn't be that bad, but <clears throat> just for the shits of it, I'd like to put it on whatever I wanted, but I guess we'll see. We'll figure it out. Shows you everything that it comes with. I'm sorry if I'm scrolling too fast. Okay. Has twelve creations. Uh, oh, I like that coffee table. Where's that TV? Okay. I'll download a TV after this. <clears throat> okay. Download. Wait 15 seconds. Okay, so this is a good one. So it is a zipped file. I don't have any of those extract zip file stuff. I just manually kind of do it. Okay, open file. Let's see if I can get it on here. There we go. I just had to exit out of the other one. Okay. So, it's zipped. You want to go to extract all. And then, I don't know if you can see it, but a white window will open. Um, it's going to ask you where you want to extract the map. Mine is just set to extract to downloads, so you could try your downloads if you don't exactly know where it went um, and then you want to click the little button that says show extracted files when completed and then press the extract button okay so close that up so see it doesn't say extract all anymore because they're extracted when you download sets for my computer I don't know about anybody else's, but for my computer, you can only download 15 or like 10 to 15 items at a time. So if you have a set with 30 creations, you're going to have to do two separate downloads or possibly three. I don't know. <clears throat> so you just want to click and hold and drag all the way up and select all your mods or like 10 to 15 of them so we got them selected here you can also like I said earlier press control A that selects them all right click and press open you want to open them And see we got this loading screen right here. Let's 
see it says success, 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 success. If there is not a success, it will say either your file is already downloaded like it did previously, or it would say like error, but I've rarely had that happen when it says error. So all of it downloaded, those 12 downloaded, and it says done down here. Press OK. And that was how you download sets of CC, uh, custom content, or mods, whatever you want to call them. I guess there's no sets in TV, but whatever. Let's do electronics. We want it to work, we don't want it to just be a picture. And TV. Want a big? That's too big. I don't know. I don't know. Too big. I'm trying to find one for Skylar. Well, it was going to be for all of them, but you know, she's going to be the first one to test it out. Uh, that's about that's about the same size, but you can move it up and down on the wall. I don't really move mine or try to move mine up and down. Check the comments. I would just hate to download one and it's not the size that I was anticipating. I've had that happen before. Probably should have already had it picked out, but it is what it is. Nah. I think this is like a projector style, so we'll try it. Let's see what the set is. I guess I'll download the set. Alright, it's another zip file, but that's fine. We'll just open file. Open, open. 
and extract all. Make sure it says show extracted files when completed. That way you don't have to track it down. Hit extract. Alrighty. Go in here, go in here. And I'm going to grab all of them. It's 15, so I'll see if it works. Because like sometimes it'll work, sometimes it doesn't. I think it depends on the size. But right click. Open. Success, success, success. All looks good. Alrighty. That is how you download mods. Another way, if you don't feel like going through all of your files, which you kind of would, um, you can go to The Sims 3. That's not me. go here you can go to downloads and see here all your downloads that shows you that they're installed so anything without this little baggie on them means that they're already installed now if you find some without the baggie in it or you download them you don't feel like going through your your files your folders um, sometimes when they're extracted files, you do have to go through your files. But if it's like one object or it's not extracted, you can come here to your downloads on your launcher and click them. I don't know how many you can do at a time. Maybe the same. I've never really done it much on here. And then you just press install. I'm not going to press it because it will just reinstall them and it'll tell me that they're already installed. Um, and right here shows that they are installed. It shows everything that is installed on your game. But if... I guess that's a new mod because I didn't say I don't remember that. But if there is a mod that you don't want you do the same thing, you click them, and you press uninstall, and it will take them out of your game. See, if I uninstall this rug right here, if y'all watch some of my videos, you know that I do use this rug. Um, so, if I uninstalled it, and then I tried to play my game that was previously had it on it before, either A, it will just disappear, um, B, it might cause issues with your game because it's trying to read something that's not there anymore. Or uh, like C, it will be replaced with uh, pixels. So it will be there, it will look like the regular one. Just if you delete it, there's no way of getting it back because it's no longer in your buy mode. If that makes any sense. I think you can still move them in like build mode, buy mode, but if you delete them then you gotta reinstall it or yeah, reinstall it, come in here, come into your downloads and reinstall it. Um, these are your expansion packs. I'm glad I checked them before I ran the game. But you click them all. Here recently, ever since I, I download mods and or CC. And then I come back. I have to reactivate the expansion packs that I want. Because the same thing. If, if I didn't check that. And I went to my regular saved game. Then 
there won't be no snow, you know, there won't be those big lofts or dance clubs or anything like that from late night. There won't be no boats, so I don't know how they would exactly get from their island. Uh, that might hurt the game. I don't know, I've always tried to... If I've loaded it without realizing that they weren't on, I'll just exit and don't save. Because if you save, then I don't know what happens. <laughs> I just try not to do that. So let's load this bad boy up and see what we got going. I always click through that scene because if not, I don't know, I'm just kind of like, we're already loaded. I don't need to load that scene and another scene. Click on my game and then load another scene. I'm impatient. We're gonna go to Little Hall's Pond Cave. For anyone who doesn't know how I got that name, uh, it is not my name. I did not originate it. Uh, it is Johnny Depp's Island. His name is Little Hall Pond Cave. Just fun fact. I have Grand Theft Auto beaches in here. I have Bob's Burgers, you know, Wonder Wharf in here. Uh, at one point I had Elaine Bredehoff in here. I think it was Amber Heard's lawyer. I was trying to give her a good life. Um, most of these houses I have built myself and streamed them. Most of them I've streamed them. Uh, like the A-frame house I built and streamed, uh, I think that is the, uh, monitor roof house that I built and streamed, the beach house, the boat house I, uh, streamed, I think these two were already, I just placed them down so that there would be more than a, a handful of people in the town, you wouldn't be bored, or know the same people over and over. I think people generate anyways though, but... thinking about going in there and revamping them. Okay, so anyone who watched me build this knows that I built this in like a day, basically, this map. So there's a lot of stuff wrong with it, but it runs decent compared to all the other maps that I've built. I've built a lot of maps, streamed a lot of maps, and I either lost the map or the game itself started crashing, so I had to uninstall it. Or there was, like I would build a, a world, and I did this twice. I built a world with about 300 lots. And when you build a world, you need it to be about less than 150 lots. So I've just ran into a lot of issues. This one runs pretty fine. There are some things that I needed to fix, but you know, no turning back now. Okay, so I'm in Edit Town. Go to... I can't do it. In my game, I did edit town, but if, you, if you're if you on the household right here, you just click up here and it says edit town. Somewhere right here. Come up with this. You've got your household, your people, you got your empty houses, and then you got your community lots, and whatnot. Uh, you build a house, uh, build a family. Um, move lot, you just click on it and you can move it anywhere. 
Uh, it has to be in an empty lot. I don't have an empty lot that big. Let's do it. Let's try to I select. Grab this again. Okay. Safe. Any lot that is smaller or that size, I can just move it to it. But keep in mind, as some of y'all have noticed, I have like this. A city hall is from my unnamed world. That's from my unnamed world. Um, this is from New Greenland, and this is from New Greenland. This one was from. Uh, Rum Bay. And then this one was from Rum Bay. So when I place down these lots, these already pre-built lots, it forms to the land. So some of y'all have seen on my library of arts and knowledge that I had to take care, like, take, get rid of this uh, parking lot right here because it, the ground was sloping down and it didn't look realistic so I just had to take it out. I didn't want to do it but I'm going for a realistic look here. So just keep in mind of that whenever you do move lots around. Go form to the, the land around them and the land that they were built on. So it might look a little choppy. You gotta fix it. Uh, build and buy. You just click on them. You'll build and buy it build it render by it like you can you know build on it. See. I can build. I always turn the roofs off. It's just a habit. I'm weird. You see how the ground goes up and down. Some lots may be flat. So then you'll have to deal with this up right here. Like smooth it out or put a foundation something of the sorts, whatever you feel like. Bulldozer. Bulldozer you can, I'm not gonna do it, but you can bulldoze like lots. Are you sure you want to bulldoze this lot? I'm not sure so I'm gonna say no. Um, if you have a family household and you want to bulldoze that, like here, are you sure you want uh, it will evict the household? So it would take the household, whoever lives in it, and it will put them up here in your little corner piece for you to place back down somewhere else. And then it will bulldoze that building. And then if you click on the lot, it says do you want to bulldoze the lot. <clears throat> so the building, the build by, and the lot are different. You gotta bulldoze both of them. But it will evict the household, put them up here, and if you go to return game with the household up here, if you're already playing people, then it will delete that family. Uh, that family specifically I have in here, so I could always just place them back down. But if it's a juvenated family, then you'll just lose them. Um, this is one of my favorites, World Editor. <clears throat> So with World Editor, you can go to trees. This town needs trees, I know. It needs a lot of trees. I'm trying to go gradually so I don't freeze the game. But you can choose any tree. Place them anywhere you want. Place them on the road. Watch your sims go through them. Um, choose any kind of tree. I'm not going to put that one down. I don't know about trees. I don't know what trees survive with each other. I don't know. Whatever looks good in normal, I guess. You cannot place on lots because you have to go to that lot, put the tree on the lot, per se. You have uh, rocks here. Put your rocks anywhere you want, and you can just like if you're in build mode, you can move them anywhere. Um, I have like the island rocks on here. That's what those three are. And then the rest are just base game rocks. I had I had that in Rumbay. I remember that. 
here are the lights that you see right there. And then I had this in Rumbay as well, the Guardian. Um, I'm not going to do any Uncharted Islands because the map for Island Paradise, or however you say it, I call it Island Paradise, but it doesn't really run. So I'm trying not to do like Charted Islands or anything like that. You have your stadium sign. I had this in Rump Bay too. Put it over here. I missed Rump Bay now talking about it. Ooh, I don't know if I should put it about it. I'll probably have to put it over here with the stadium. I'm gonna move my camera there. Put it right there. You got your community trash can, you know. Your uh, picnic tables, you can place them anywhere. Your honorable flagpole. I'll put this over here by the military base. One on. I think this is another one. Yeah, safety flagpole. So you can basically just. I wonder if that boat's stuck there. I'll delete, I'll delete the boat. The boats that are stuck there, and then the people, they get stuck places. And the game, if you if you've watched before, the game will start to act slow, especially in fast mode, like when you speed it up. That means usually that there is someone or something stuck somewhere. So far in my map, anyways. So I'd always just do reset sim or delete the boat. Which I will go over that. So you get your trees, your rocks, and your landmarks. Lots. They're one of my favorites. You can do it in Sunset Valley. Uh, you can do it in Bridgeport. Bridgeport is a little bit more stingy though, because it's a little bit more compact. You can choose any size lot. Stationary, of course. You can't make custom lots like on Create a World. But say I want to do a 50 50 lot somewhere. I done used up all my 50 50s. See how it snaps to the road. Now, you want it to snap to the road if you're going to put it on the road. Because then it just looks realistic. If it does not snap to a road, you hold down like your alt and you get it as close to the road. It's going to snap to it anyways, but you're going to get it as close to the road as you can. And you can zoom in with your wheel pad on your mouse. And you can make sure that it's going to. I wonder if there's a road I can put it on somewhere. You can rotate it. It's just like putting an object down. Let's see if I can do it right here. You hold down Alt. And you try to get it as close to the road as you can. You even adjust your camera to make sure that it... Because it, I've thought it was close to the road before, but it still had at least one or two squares. It bothers me, but it might not bother some. You can do 50, uh, 64 by 64 if you run out of all your big lots. Um, so as you can see, it's red because you cannot put it on the roads and you cannot put them on the lots. That's why I wasn't able to put it over here because that dance club and the, the second spa was in the way. Wouldn't let me put it on lots. Uh, you just click down to put it down. Um, I'll put one down here. That's a new lot. But you see how it's red around here? That is because that is non-routable terrain. And in Sunset Valley and in Bridgeport, it will tell you that a lot. Unroutable terrain. That's because the Sims physically cannot walk on that. Um, in this world. Anyways, because I did not want them to leave the stadium and just yeet down the mountain, like, 
I don't even know. But that's why it says non-routable terrain. And right here it will stay the same. Because I didn't want them to live all the way up here and then just go, Oh, I'm going to go to town and go straight down the mountain. Because uh, they just like, they don't even look like they're trying. They just walk down it like they're, it's stairs. So this is how you put down new lots. I can put down that right there. And then I can build on that, but you cannot build in the water. You have to build above the water. So you have to bring the land up above the water and build on that. And then if you bring the land up above water, you can put a foundation on it and delete that land. That way you don't have random land coming up. Or you can just build the foundation on top of the water and most of the time it will automatically set the heights the lowest it can be so that's how you uh, place down any extra lots and why sometimes you might get frustrated because it says it's red that's why it's red So we're going to do a custom sim, we're going to create sim. I'm not going to do change household because I I don't know what Skylar has in her wish list right now. Some of it's worth actually achieving. We're going to do create a sim. Babu. Alrighty. Uh, I'm extremely not good with names because I'll always put the same name over and over and over and you don't want a town full of Maxes or Jacks or Johns or Elizabeths or Skylers. So I just always do randomize. Sometimes it's not the best name so you can just randomize it again. Down here is the undo button. But some of it I just let it go because not everyone's name is perfect. I do not have a perfect name. I choose male or female. I'm going to go with female. I always go with the young adult. I'll make her a color. Because I need some more color. Make her. I'm going to make her normal, kind of. Because I hate seeing like supermodels just walk around everywhere and eat you a burger. That's how I feel anyways. There we go. She's pretty nice, pretty nice. Okay, with the hair, as it says right there, you can lock or unlock. So when it is unlocked, she can have that hair updo for every day. And for formal or for any of these, any other one Hathor. but every day, she can have flowers in her hair. Or any, she can even have that. <laughs> I don't think that would look right. Have a beanie. And so when she changes to her formal, she'll have the beanie hair. And when she changes to every day, she'll have an updo. I keep mine on lock sometimes. Most of the time. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why. I want a different hair. I don't want her to have her hair on.
I don't think I want a hat on. See, I want to do the same hairstyle over and over. We'll do this one. That one looks nice. So, I'm not going to do her eyebrows because I'm going to show you how to custom a Sims instead of just choosing whatever the fuck they give you. Uh, okay. Her eyelashes. I'll give her some eyelashes. Some pretty eyelashes. And some long ones. Okay. So, I'm not going to choose any of the pre-made stuff. None of it. Or maybe that. That's it. I'm going to go to this magnifying. And right here is where you can do a 100% custom character like The Sims 4, but you can't adjust it with your mouse. You can move her, but you have to adjust it over here. So I'll bring her chin up some. out a little bit. Bring your jaw shape down a little bit. Jaw height. Come up a little bit. Do her ears. You can't see her ears, but you can do her ears. Do her bone shape. That looks weird. That looks weird. increase. She's happy, so she's gonna have some. Cheek fullness. Oh, no. Jaws. Alrighty. And now we're gonna do her eyes. You can mess with these if you want. Do alien eyes. Stuff like that. Basically, messing with how it looks. Um, eye height, all that. Eye shape. Yeah, we want her to have open eyes. Her curve. Bringing up some. Here's where we do our eyebrows. There we go. Her nose. Now you can mess with that if you want. There's just about a lot of stuff that you can do. You can turn her and see exactly what you're doing. Oh, we don't want her to frown. Depth? Oh, I should not have messed with that. I'm gonna do under. Mainly because I want her to look fine. And I'll end up looking at it too long and making it not look right.
bottom lip. Give her some freckles, that's just saying, you know, since we're customizing her anyway, so we don't want Some makeup. I always like to do. Where's that? See how they're just one? I like to do like the threes because that means that it's shaded. Same with lips. There's opposed to three colors and one. I'm not gonna give her any tattoos because some of the yeah, tattoos are gonna look right. I gave some to Skylar, but be all right. so, so. Spruce her up a little bit here. Aravid. Looks good in pink. Balumi la zixna. Erkni bar. Baji busa. Looks good. Aza sa. Looks good. So this is what she looks like. Now if you want to custom her clothes, you just come over here and click on them. See if her favorite color is going to be greenish yellow. Greenish yellow, you know, you can do blue this and black this. Do black to make it match. Do the same with pants. She can have red pants that don't look that bad. Uh, you can do white boots. And same with if you are customizing anything, you can do it anything that you want that's inside. You zoom in with your wheel. Custom boots. You can do that with all of her outfits. I'll just randomly click on one. So so. Favorite color is greenish blue. Oh, that doesn't look. A uh, greenish yellow. My bad. There we go. You can do it with her jewelry. See, when I clicked on it, it brought me to the file that it's in. You click on it again when she stops moving. And then here you can customize it. It's pink. Do blue. Do orange. I guess she's a very colorful person. It's gonna go to shoes. White shoes. So that's how you customize the character herself, herself, and her clothes, and her jewelry, her shoes. You can do randomized here because I don't feel like really going through and picking through, but I'm gonna pick one or two of them. We need her to be, for the sake of this tutorial, we need her to be into music. And then... Family... Orientated. See where we go from there. We'll just do that because there's no real. I might keep her, but she's gonna be in my inventory. Hopefully, she spawns somewhere. I'll throw her somewhere. Alright, I'll throw her somewhere later. 
Pikachu's her her sign. Yes. You approve? Babu. Yeah, you approve. So that is how you do a customized sim. Now I'm going to show you how to build a house. So uh, it's going to be a very basic house. Not even be a tiny house. I'm not trying to spend three, four, five hours on it. Um, so we're on this page. We're in Edit Town. You get to Edit Town through here. I have the select tool on or you can do the build by tool either one either one you want I'll come over here to barracks bay I'm gonna turn the light on I'm gonna turn the roofs off mainly so that whenever I'm building if you're building a two-story you build the first story the roof gets put on it then you go to put stairs on and it won't put any stairs down there because the roof might be in the way or you build the second story and then the roof is in the way I always flatten the lamp because if you don't then you don't even have to flatten it that way but just for the sake of the video I'm gonna flatten it that way you flatten it for here if you want That way it doesn't make your walls or your floors or anything not level. Because you can build the whole house, it looks fine, but then, hello, but then you will go to put an object down and it says that the, it can't be placed on a slope. do seven by sixes. I don't know how this is going to turn out. All of my houses are not pre-built. I do not speak Spanish. Or I don't know what that means. I don't know what that is, to be honest. It's gonna be a one bedroom, I can already tell you that. Carpet. I'm gonna go to buy mode. I'm gonna go, always use this one, sort by function. Goodbye. Or you can go to sort by room. Sort by function is sometimes easier for me to go through. Place down cabinets. I'm gonna make an L kitchen. This is a little bit too big to be doing an L kitchen, but I'll wrap it. And then I'm going to exit, exit, or not exit, but this is your hammer tool. Anything you click, it deletes. And then your hand tool. That way you can pick objects up. This is your create a style tool. You click on it. And just like in create a sim, you can change whatever you want. So I'm going to put down a stove. Refrigerator. And yeah, just the basics. Don't even really need that. For a more detailed house, I would 
probably watch some of my building videos. Because I get pretty detailed and they get pretty long. I don't know what you're sending, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So I'm gonna do an Eden kitchen. When a sim is walking, it needs... See that half a square? That is fine. But a full square or really get them some room. And then like a square and a half will really give them some room to be able to pass people. Put your uh, cabinets up. Go back to build mode and you can put a archway to your kitchen. I'm gonna do a three because then it will look even. Then here in your living room, you do couches. I'm just throwing this together so it's not very detailed at all. You do your table. coffee table. Oh, too small. And then usually do a rug. Tie it all in together. Ooh, like a new rug. Put that one down. And put a bookshelf in here so they can read. TV. Let's see what that new TV looks like. That's pretty nice, decent sized TV radio in here. I need to give a radio to Skyler. You want to have your security alarm. Because that's what saved us the other day when a burglar just walked through my gate. Maybe I left it open. But that will save you for many burglars. Hopefully. And then you want your fire alarm because that will automatically call the cops if there's a fire. Or not the cops, it's the fire department. Automatically call the fire department when there is a fire, even if you're not at the house, so that your house doesn't burn down while you're at work trying to make money to pay for the house. Put the bed down here. I always use the same shit over and over. I don't know why. Just looks good sometimes. If you hover it over, you can move the direction not to put it down. That's what I was trying to do. Put a bookcase in their bedroom. Since they have carpet, I'm not going to put the carpet down. But they do have a pretty decent sized room. Put a desk in here. You can use regular chairs like for your tables or you can come over here and you can use actual desk style chairs and just like in my library you can tell that I have regular tables with computers and you can do that and so that they'll have a place to be on the computer and kids will also have a place to do their homework like I'll usually put that in the kids room so that they have a computer and somewhere to do their homework but it doesn't take up more space than what a desk does. This is going to be a huge bathroom. To do... This is a huge bathroom so I'm gonna, just going to show you how. To do a platform go to your foundations platform I'm gonna do three squares I'll put their tub up there I'm going to hold alt and move it around anywhere that I want and I can even turn it any way I want. 
Press shower down in your form. It's a huge bath. Go back to build mode. Throw in some doors for him. Since it's so huge, I'm gonna make it accessible through the kitchen and through the bedroom. Make the bedroom accessible through the living room. Very, very very basic. Now I'm going to... Okay, so I'm going to do rock. You can hold down shift and it covers all of the common wall that you're on. Or you can press this button right here. It will do the exact same thing but without having to hold down shift. And then you can go to a different... It's kind of like caps lock. <laughs> go to a different wall and it does the same thing. Without having to hold down shift. And same thing... Same thing goes for the floors. You can hold down shift and it fills any common space. Or you can press this button and it does the same thing. As the walls do. So for here, I'll do, and it covers that. Always put flooring down because then it creates the ceiling. Up there. And so from here, you can take this tile and put it on the ceiling. Same here. Same with the wood. And you can even do the carpet on the wall, which is probably weird. And you can customize the carpet. I've done this in some of my videos. And you can change it to whatever you want. So I'm going to put the sky up there. Wait for it to load and press OK. See, without this, there is no ceiling, as you can see there. Press end, and it takes the walls down right here. Press end again, it takes them all the way down. Home up, home up, end down. I'm gonna do undo so you see the difference. Put a front door because they're gonna need somewhere to enter. put some windows in here so that they can see. Put a small window above the um, above the counters basically because if you put a big window you can see the counter from the inside, which isn't a big deal, but for me, realistically, it bothers me. I have to do the windows that actually fit. I think they're different, but yeah, they're different. You can press G, or you can press down here, the grid mode. Very basic house.
So if you can see on this platform here, I'll do the end, it is not the same color as the wall. You can always paint it. Do the same. It's the exact same as like a room. Hold shift and, and paint it or press this and it'll paint. And then it matches the same wall. Then I'll put some tile up here. I'm gonna do a front porch because I hate when my sims are outside and they just keep getting rained on. I'm not really trying to make anything match. Okay, so two different styles of roof you can do. Or you can do a lot of them, but with this house. You can do the basic roof. Or you can do the basic roof with a peak. And I do this one quite a lot. Skylar has this one done. So what I did here is I lined up two of these roofs. One right here on the border. And then what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to delete it. Put that one on the border so that it looks like the same wall. And then you have the beak. And you can adjust them down. If you do in the peak, make sure you get them just about close so that there's not a gap. push this one down as well, make it not so tall. And that is how you build a basic house. I'm sure I've missed some things in there, but I wasn't trying to go too, too detailed. I'm on number four right now. Alrighty, so the settings. You go to the options menu and you go to options. Here you have your settings. Um, always do reflect on mirrors and water because that's realistic. Um, if you have them set low, then they will just be like grayed out, which is fine. Um, edge smoothing, it makes sure that the, that the edges are defined and crisp, but it, I'm not trying to look at crisp lines. So that one can be low and not bother me. Visual effects, uh, the quality of the effects basically, the objects, the sims, the town, that one's on medium. The light shadows of trees and houses and gates anything that would cast a shadow but I have mine on medium so that not every single thing casts a shadow or a big dramatic shadow. Not something I really look at. The tree detail is high because I want my trees to look, if I'm going for realistic I want them to look realistic. I don't want them to look, I don't want the whole game to be realistic but the trees look like a glob of green on like a brown stick. The draw distance is rendering basically how many, how far you can see. The high detail lots is if you have four neighbors, you can see all four of those houses perfectly, or you can just see one house perfectly. I don't really mind that because right now it's not too cluttered in this map. Texture detail like the carpet, you would be able to see like, you know, 
like the fabric of the carpet or you'll just see like a straight line uh, the sims as well like if your sims has like wrinkles or something you can see them it won't be like there and have a smooth complex uh, that's for sim detail texture detail um, yeah, just basically objects and stuff. You can enable full screen, which will take up your whole screen, but I don't enable mine so that I can see my chats on the side. Your screen size, you really just have to play with that one to get the best for your monitor or your TV or whatever you're playing off of and how close or how far away you are from it. So if you're really close to it, you can have like a really big like gameplay, but not very really big menus. Like my menus are about a quarter of the screen because I sit further back and I won't be able to see them. But if I was closer to them, I could make them smaller so that there's more ground and there's more game than there are menus. Got your sound, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, your edge scrolling is when you can go to the side of your game and it will move your camera. So if, oh shit, I'm gonna enable edge screaming, edge scrolling. Ah, I'll only do it in live mode. But if you go to the corners, or you go to the side of the game, it will move your camera to that side. It will it'll basically, the camera will follow the mouse. Your mouse won't just go off to the screen. Enable shop mode. Your shop mode is where you earn points, and then you can spend them on custom content, or just about anything that they have in the shop. Lessons of... Basically saying what your sim has already learned, like, or what will help you help your sim learn. Notifications of your memories, like, if you buy them a new car, they'll be like, oh, I have a memory of writing in my new car. And it happens way too frequently for me to even sit there and want to exit all of those out. But you may be different. Uh, lessons to reset. So whenever you reset all your lessons down here, you can choose which ones to reset, which ones not to reset from your expansion packs. Interactive loading screen. You can have an interactive loading screen or you can not. The interactive loading screen will basically be like a prop plant. Not like a prop plant on Fortnite, but like in the books. Or you had to find Waldo, basically. You had to find the fireplace. You had to find the books. You had to find the piano. You know, like a scavenger hunt. Uh, without the interactive loading screen, it just gives you tips on how to play the game. So you can have tips on how to play the game, or you can, like me, I know most tips. You can just do the interactive loading screen, and if you feel like it. You can read the little message on the bottom and it says find the piano and you'll find the piano and then it will go to find the dog find the dog you don't click on anything it it's automatic so you don't have to click on it and actually find it but it's just a interactive loading screen i guess sim anatomy I have mine on high free will because I don't like telling people what to do so I'm not going to tell my sims what to do every single second of the day because that would just be annoying. If it is high, then if your sim needs to use the bathroom like Skylar you've seen before, I've told her to do something and she's like no I'm going to use the bathroom. <laughs> so I'm fine with that. You know, you do you, I'd rather you do you than pee all over yourself. Or you can have it on low or off. <laughs> low or off. Uh, if they have to pee and you tell them to do something, they're not going to pee. 
They will piss themselves doing what you told them to do. The only way they will interact. I'll see if it shows it on here. No. If you hover over stuff, they sometimes they give you a brief description. But they will only react if their life is in danger. So if say they're on fire, they're gonna take they're gonna put themselves out. They're not gonna sit there and read the book. Uh, but that's about the only time that they interact outside of you telling them what to do. Suppress opportunities. I might turn this one on for Skylar. I don't know. I love doing opportunities, but it's like it's the same opportunity over and over and over and over. And I've done done them over and over and over and over. And I feel like doing them over and 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 over. I want new ones. So you can turn them off so you don't see any of them at all. Or you can leave them on where you see all of them all the time. I'm in between right now. You can do this anatomy for select sim. So that means that you will be able to control the current sim while others run free. And to me that's fine. Uh, you have to turn it off for that to be able to work. Um, that means if you're if you're playing Skylar Birch right now and then she has a sister that you can also play the sister will be off doing her own thing while you're focused on Skylar Birch and then if you switch to her sister then Skylar Birch will do her own thing not wait on you to tell her what to do enable aging I have mine off because you can turn them up really high but see I'll do enable aging and you can do short where it's like days four days five days this is perfect for anyone who wants to go through a lot of families in the same family in a short amount of time it's like see they don't even live a week it's like one day they're born, the next day they're a toddler, the next day they're a kid, you know, stuff like that. Oh, what would that be? Two, four, eight, nine, ten, twenty-one, twenty-six days. So they live two weeks on the short, but you can always adjust them lower. Where they all live just two days. They'll be an adult for two days, you know. Three, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen days. They only live for two weeks tops. I do mine long. You can do it epic. You know, you can do a lot of days. You can make them be alive for a very long time before they die or age up. But sometimes I'm focused on making one opportunity work and I don't realize how many days have gone by and then my person turns into an elder or an adult and sometimes I lose the progress that I was sitting there trying to do because I can only do it when they're a certain age. Um, like a part-time job, just for example. No, that's not, that's not a good example. Like if they're trying to have kids and you're also trying to work on your career, you'll let it slip by on you while you're working on your career that your kids are aging up. Kind of like in real life and I don't want that to happen in the game. So I just have them to where they never age and you have to manually make them age. I'm fine with that. I'll manually make them age whenever I want to. Oh, you got your video, your music. You can do custom music on here, but you got to go through your files and put it into your music file. You can choose all of your music that you want. Online, I don't have mine. Online. Seasons, I have them all maxed out because I don't want it to be like, oh look, this week it's summer, oh look, the next week it's, you know, winter or fall or spring 
I don't want that. I want them to take their time and actually have a week or two to enjoy the snow or the sun before it changes again. You got your Fahrenheit, your Celsius, your hail, rain, snow, and fog. All of that's enabled. So that's basically your settings run through. I didn't go through some of these right here. Uh, your story progression. Like, some of Skylar's friends, they've gotten together. Like, boyfriend and girlfriend. Some of them will have kids. Some of them will get a new job. Some of them will quit their job. You know, some of them will play guitar in the park and actually learn the guitar and play it again in the park. You know, you meet up with them and then they're like, oh look, my favorite color's changed, you know. So that's what story progression is. So if you have it off, then nothing will happen uh, with anybody outside of your household. Like, none of them will have kids. None of them will, quote unquote, like get a divorce and have a new girlfriend or even cheat on their partner with a, a girlfriend there will they won't interact really they won't have a life or they'll have a life they'll live but they won't have like an exciting life they'll just go to work at home all day every day and i want them to i want the story to progress so that it's kind of different it's not all staying the exact same so here, uh, there are for expansions. Currently, I only have nightlife and island paradise on. So, if you have any expansions with werewolves or horses like pets, uh, you click them on in here. Right here you can opt your household out of the celebrity system, meaning that they won't get a celebrity status because they just don't give a fuck about it. Um, no matter what you do, they will not gain a celebrity point. So if you're not getting any, then you can come in here and unclick that, if it's clicked. And then you have your restore to defaults, now restore all of your uh, settings to default. So that's basically explaining your settings. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to Skylar Birch here. And I'm going to run down some... Some live mode. I will show you options. Edge scrolling is on. See those edit sound. Edge scrolling might only work in full screen mode because it's not one to work in my window mode. But that's fine with me, I don't use it anyways. So if you want edge screen scrolling to work, you might want to do it in full screen. Okay, so cheats. This is Skylar Birch right here. It's her house. Cheats. Are pretty easy some of them what you want to do is waiting on her what you want to do is hold down shift and control also C to hold hold all three of those down at the exact same time and your screen will go dim like this one now when it goes dim like this one, that means that the cheat bar is up here, and it's ready for you to type. It should be blue, kind of transparent, 
should have like the ah for typing. Uh, it's not for typing, but you know, you know, when you go to type, the eye little thing comes on. So, that's how you get to your cheat bar. You can type in help, and it displays some of the cheats. This is not all of them, but this is some of them. And you can type here, you know, move objects on, you know, and they won't go away. Where was that one at? Right here. And it tells you if you need it to on or off, or if it's true or false. Like the constrain, floor, elevation is true. The constrain, floor, elevation allows you to, and I think I did a video on that one, it allows you to adjust any terrain that you would like without there being any restrictions. To turn it off, you would do true, and to turn the other ones off, you would do off. So that is how you open up your cheats bar. One of the cheats that I'm going to go over, I don't think I've gone over in any of my videos, is buy the bug on. Is it on the list? It is not on the list. So I'm going to press enter. I put bug. Bye. Bye. Oh. Shit, fuck me. Alright. The reason why it's popping up, it says that there's no known cheat, is because you have to enable the cheats first. To enable cheats, you have to do testing. Cheats enabled space true and press enter. Now your cheats are active. You can do whatever you want with your cheats, and the majority of them will work. Um, to turn the cheats off. You, of course, press and hold Shift, Control, C. You use your little arrow, your up arrow, and it displays the last cheat that you entered. I wish if you kept going up, it would display all your cheats, but it doesn't. It just, it only shows the one that you last entered. So I'm going to backspace and do false. And that just turned all of the cheats off. Some people say that you don't want to have the cheats inactive for very long because it has caused issues. It hasn't really caused much issues with me. But every computer is different. Every person is different. You can choose to leave them on or off. It's completely up to you. I'm going to turn them back on. And I'm going to show you this cheat here that I'm going to go over is by the bug on <laughs> and then I'm going to go to like by mode because you can really see you can really really see the cheat in by mode or I don't think it's in build mode no in buy mode right here this question mark debug so if there is any spawners like you can go to the the park the main square and you can see where the fishies are in the pond and you can move where they spawn at in the pond
you can put anything that like that you can move it so you can click on the debug and right here is like underwater objects just like in island paradise uh, they've got anything you can really think for this is probably how they put it all all in island paradise um, got your caves just anything really you got your seaweed <clears throat> here you got your fishing these are spawners this is exactly what I was, I was talking about if you go to your park it will show your fish spawners and they have some for oceans they have some for lakes I think they had one for a river at one point I'm, quite, I'm not quite too sure you got your squids you know just anything that really swims around you have your fish right here you got different sizes of spawners different types of spawners then you have your gardening seeds or if seeds will this is a tree um, it's obviously not a tree, but it's like, yeah, it's a bell pepper tree. Um, you can put them down so they don't have to plant them, you don't, they don't have to grow them, but once you do plant them, then they can grow them, or interact with them. Uh, then right here you have your spawners, where it will spawn, say, apple tree seeds. So you can walk out here and pick up a few apple tree seeds and you won't have to buy them or locate them. You have all kinds of seeds down here. Wildflowers, shit like that. You have your rocks and your gems. You can make them spawn diamonds. Um, a meteor. Some seashells. Basically, just shit like that. Underwater spawners. There's a gem spawner. Another one, it's a ha spawner. This one is an epic, so there will be a lot of them. This is a high, so there will be less than epic, but still a lot. Agua is, I want to say, like medium. And you have your lows. Other, maybe that was a type of gem. Then you have your butterflies, your beetles. different kinds of butterflies, termites, mossies, and then these three little dots right here. I'm going to press delete and it's going to empty my hand. These are extra content that you can't find within buy mode or build mode. You got your uh, your awards here, street signs, you know, your boat, dog. These are lights here, so just for example, I'm going to press page up, it's going to take me up. I'm going to put a light right here, page up, page up. See, it's on an arch right here. But I don't want to put a floating light, a regular light down here, because then it will look like it's not hanging on anything. So I'm going to place this light right here, and there are all kinds of different style lights. There's rectangulars, or squares, or circles. I think I keep clicking on the right, the same one. Squares. Just different, uh, then they have... Where is it at? Uh, 
wall lights where you can put them on a wall. so that my hand is free. Then you have, these are in Bridgeport. I'm gonna press L for light. It's like the planter boxes that you see around town. Basically you got your, your around the town trash cans and then you got your mailboxes here. Got different styles of mailboxes. Got your call box. You got those pillars right here. Dirty clothes. This is a fog where you place it down and there will be fog coming out of it. You got your leaf pile. Like, I guess what it would be if they were building a building. You got your pumpkins, your jack-o'-lanterns. I'm gonna delete that though. I don't need that. Hidden room marker. So this is basically what you see when you're in apartments and the apartments around you are black. And they're blacked out. That's because they have this hidden room marker in it. It's basically just this little ball. And whenever you go into live mode, it just blackens out the room that this ball is in. So if I placed it down here, then it would blacken out my yard, basically. I'll get into more detail on that one, though. Get your awards here. You got your, uh, if you're ever building a boathouse, you're going to need this one. This is basically your ramp to connect and place a boathouse down. You build a like a pier, like a bridge, then you place that down on it and then you can place your houseboat within what comes to it. I showed that in the boathouse video, I want to say. This is level skip marker, so whenever you're in some of those uh, buildings and you just skip past a lot of those floors, because there's nothing on those floors and they didn't want to spend the time putting something on those floors, so the elevator will just skip that floor as if it's not even there but it's built there <clears throat> these are shells of the buildings from bridgeport can't really see them because you see them there right there you can basically put them down and then build inside of them. They're just shells to make them look like like they do in Bridgeport. No real function to them unless you build inside of them. Then you have just decorative stuff. I think that is over there in the plum bot. Just decorative whatnots, really. Public room marker. So public room marker is something that I use in the lobby in the apartments because anybody will be able to get into that lobby, not just the residents. So that means that it is open to the public. Pretty self-explanatory. Same with that one, that was just an island paradise one. You have your public speakers, so that you don't have to have a stereo system, you can have the speakers like off in the dance clubs. You have cemeteries, urns and stuff, graves. Then you have a road gate, like the vent for water, but it doesn't work, it's just there for looks. Have your rocks. So it's pretty big lot of rocks. Got your boy. Your seasonal lot marker is what the park is. 
you put the seasonal lot marker on your park and it will change with the season. So for fall it will have the spooky house, for winter it will have the ice skating, for you know spring it will have probably flowers, I don't know. For summer it has... I don't think there's any much summer, I don't know, but it changes with the season. It doesn't just stay the same lot. You get your red lights, more wards, your wall light, more planters, more that's a chest you could probably find it underground. Or not underground, underwater. Got your mailbox. Water boy. Sunflowers. Toy. Alligator. Seasonal coal. Festival egg. Got toys. And you got gutters here. They have to be placed on a ceiling or on a wall. Just adds to your house the definition of realism. And you have your fireworks here. That's, that's an oil barrel, but you have your fireworks. If you don't feel like buying them from the store, you can buy them from here. Elevator shaft. Some more boxes and crates. The records. These you can buy from in the store. Get your gnomes. You know, like the achievements, objects, the space car. Uh, I want to say a another car. But that was a high price car. Just basically hidden objects. So with this light here, the same for the wall lights, the ceiling lights, all of the lights like this one, they disappear when you go into light mode. See? But it still casts a light. They're just invisible. But the light does still work. Alrighty, so I'm going to go to a new map because I'm going to be fucking around with a sim and I don't want to change my sim and I don't want to mess with Skylar. Alrighty, so if you start out on this page, you can of course move, like see the house on them, you can move them into, they come with that skyscraper, they come with the house, this one comes with a house, you can place them anywhere you want that they will fit. They can't fit anywhere because it's a 64 by 64 lot. Lots will be green and the little bubble will be blue. You place them there, I don't know why it's not. 
<clears throat> so here you can place down empty houses. Those are boat houses. Here you can place down commercial lots. Uh, you can see how my commercial lots are saved. That is because with so many different maps, I worked on so many different lots and I didn't want to lose that progress, so I just saved them to my library to transfer them over to my new island, which y'all heard before that I have very different lots from different maps. But if you want to save it to your, your folder right down here, you just click on it. Go to save, copy to library. Like yes, it's processing. And then here it is right here. If you want to delete it, you just click on it and delete. If you start out on this page. <laughs> to mess around with Elaine here today. And so the door is not my way. To age up a sim. There's two ways you can do it. Three ways you can do it. You can go in here to this. Let me show you real quick. Hang on. Okay. On her simology. It tells you she's a young adult making progress to being an adult. So she's a young adult. You can go over here to the options. <clears throat> go to game options. Go to young adult and change it to however long you want her to play as a young adult. If you do two days, she will age up in two days. The other way is to go to the store, the grocery store right here, go all down to the bottom. Scroll up until you see the birthday cake. It's usually towards the bottom. You're going to double click on it or click on it at cart and buy items. Bring her back to the house. <coughs> it put it inside of your inventory here. So I'm going to put it on her table right here. And I'm going to tell her to blow out the candles and select her. Whoever you select is the person who will age up. Whoever blows out those candles <laughs> is aging up. <laughs> Rizzy. <laughs> Spargle. They didn't put a ceiling. You see how you can see the sky. She can do a little twirl.
It will give you this little notification. Children and teenagers, they get an extra trait when they age up. Sometimes it will be an automatic trait that you do not get to choose. And sometimes you will be able to choose the trait. It will tell you in that little pop-up. See, now she's an adult. And she's aging up to an elderly person. So that is a way you can age up through the cake and through the settings. The third way that you can get her to age up is enabling your cheats, holding down shift, control, and C, testing, cheats, enabled, True. Enter. And what you're going to do, once she sits down, I'm not going to chase her. Hold down shift mm. and click. Mm. Mm. Do trigger mm. age transition. Once you choose do trigger age transition, she will automatically age. She does not need a cake, and you do not need to adjust the settings. Each one of these ways to age up, you can, you can do all of them and she'll age up two or three ages. Or you can just do one of them, and just one of them will do the trick. I'm not going to do the other one because I don't want her to be an elderly person just yet. That is how you age up a sim. Now, she doesn't know a lick of person in here. Nobody. She doesn't know anybody. So we need to make her some friends. You're going to go to this mailbox, her mailbox. Go to the person's mailbox. Shift, hold down shift, and click. You can do, I'll show you, I'll go to her needs. You can do shift, make all happy, and it brings up all of their moods. Anybody who lives there, their moods will move up as well. You can do shift, click, hold down shift and click. You can do force visitor. If you do force visitor, somebody in the town is going to show up and hang out with you. I don't know how long they'll stay, but they will show up. Zeep, Sasha, my Ani. With the cheats on, you can adjust their moves. All you have to do is click and hold. Click. Absa Mazabo, Shabu, Zimfama. Vlas, is Bajor. You can bring them all down. What is Jovi? Zambla she will never need to be <laughs> to eat, 
Ebli, ebli, ebli. Ash to walk it pop. Ma, Danny. Hold shift to click. Happy nerves. Make needs dynamic. Box go. They will go down now. Gold gibo. Eh, eh. Nebu tundu. You can adjust them again. However you want. Hold shift to click. Set career. <laughs> she says she wants Little to be God. in military, so we'll go to military. Oh, her. These are uh, the uh, uh, two levels of military. Uh, 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 so if you go uh, to spa, you go to uh, levels. Uh, you go to uh, bookstore clerk levels. Go to journalist. These are the levels. <laughs> we'll go to military. <laughs> we'll make her number seven. Uh. Ippy Tala. Mm. See now she's oh, she herby. Eight. My bad. Now, regardless of her athleticism and her handiness and her boss, regardless of anything about her as a person, she has that dog. Hold shift and click. Here you can change it again if you want. You can lower you can lower it to slide. You might not be able to lower it. Oh well. Mm -hmm. huh? oh. Force NPC. Non played. <laughs> what this is is a fighter fighter, burglar, police. You can you can force to be burglarized. You can do a babysitter, repair technician, a repo man, news delivery maid. I don't know what those are. Can do any of them. Butler. Any of them. Make me know everyone. So this is originally why I clicked on the mailbox. Because she doesn't have any friends besides her boss now. So hold shift click. Make me know everybody. Now she knows every single person in this town. Everybody knows her. And you're gonna get probably tons of these. Just greetings, basically. Hold shift click. They're all her acquaintances, so she needs some friends. We're gonna do make friends for me. And down here, friends. I'll do it again. Well, it's not working. If it doesn't work that way, you're gonna do the same thing with needs. Now her best friend, it's now her best friend, now her best friend, now her arch enemies. You can do whatever you want, whoever you want. She's your best friend, she's your best friend. She's a friend, a good friend. He's your arch nemesis. Or you just really just don't like it. See, now she got some friends. If the mailbox don't work. So we're going to make her a celebrity. I'm going to scroll through here. Any person who is remotely a celebrity has any kind of star. Hopefully there's some in here. Doesn't look like it. 
Because this is Sunset Valley, and none of them's going to come with a preset star. So I'm just going to assume there are no stars. So we will manually make her a celebrity. In Jowie Low God Two ways. Nice go God. So shift click. <laughs> Brownie. Big lad. Celebrity. Wazo. Wazo ni God. We are going to set celebrity level. Celebrity range is 0 to 5. I'm going to make her a 5 star celebrity. And yes. See, now she has 5 stars. Swicky. But like the old swick But you don't want her to be a five star celebrity and have no celebrity points. So I'm going to make her have zero to ten thousand. She's going to have ten thousand points so that her celebrity status matches her celebrity she points. Does you don't have to. Gavdi. Glad big of a dude. not going to make her a frog. <laughs> Sorry, maybe. Calumnio, but glad. The other way to become a celebrity Let's go bop. is if you have people down here. And say one of them has one star, one of them has three stars, uh, one of them has two stars. Jaza. Anybody with a Fuck star, God. <laughs> befriend them. Because you will God gain Deva. from their Mesco star. God. Not a star yourself, but you will gain from Zal knowing a celebrity. Um, another way to become a celebrity, <laughs> the longest way, is to achieve celebrity points from the... Opportunities that you get. Blefko, Zamdgiri, Westmana. Hello, Rose. How are you doing today? Uh, uh. Rep Emble. I am going to go to main menu and I'm going to switch over to bridge point. So see, this Elaine Bredahoff only has three stars. So I'm going to do Shift Control C, Testing, Cheats, Enabled, Intruder, Anybody with a star, she is going to be friend. See, she's already gained celebrity points. And that bumped her up to having four stars. She doesn't know that very many people, but just from in her her inventory of friends, it gave her a star to become best friends with anybody with a star. It really did it when she became friends with the five star. So that is a few ways of how you can become a celebrity. He is a vampire, you can tell because he has purple around him. I'm going to ask him to come over and I'm going to make her not hungry because she's got shit to do. <laughs> Does. See Paggle? Jenjo Bella? Fox 
the mind, uh. you bow. To become a vampire, you have to ask the vampire to come over. Nee, Brax. Sidney Heen, na vupi samir. La bra kudra, rens gazi. Tu bab we jo, twelve. Ez du bab. Taliova. Oh, was it lobabli? Sanio? Who is it, Coat? Good tip. Santa Bob. Flyzel? Good foot. With maybe Chogol. Oh, I'm doing pretty well. Chogol. Me. Chogle. Ubabula. Now, who be some me? Love it? Able to grow. So, to become I'm a vampire, dead. I'm going to click on him. Oh. And I'm going to do to turn. Because I know he is a vampire. He can't <laughs> turn. Uh, so we got he's my friend. Anything. Have a Steve Nashnar. So I'm going to show you how to teleport real quick. She teleports Sim to go back to the house or back to wherever you want her to go. She gets stuck somewhere and she cannot move anywhere.